staying in a bed and breakfast is different from staying in a hotel in that it's a much more intimate setting. You have a lot more interaction with the actual owners of the place. You're gonna have great breakfast. It's gonna fill you up for the day. You can talk to us about activities and things that you wanna do. A lot of our guests will be out for the day and come back in the afternoon, have a, have a glass of wine and sit on the back deck or you know, cozy up to the fireplace if it's winter time. One of the most unique things about Wild Horse Inn is that we not only offer bed and breakfast lodge rooms, but we also have cabins on site. So we have three cabins, two of which are dog friendly. So you can bring your furry companion with you to come and play in the mountains and uh, still stay in a really nice place. And the cabins do offer a large degree of privacy. All of our rooms have private baths in the main lodge and then of course the private cabins all have the, the private baths and great big jetted tubs and little kitchenettes and all too. They're each different, they each have their own character and our repeat guests know which rooms they really like and they ask for them by name. The inn is in a beautiful spot, the physical location is awesome with the trees and the gardens but it's also close to everything. And every season there's there's something fun there. Um, I mean for us we're big cross-country skiers so to come up in the winter and to be able to skate literally like right out the door. Um, to be able to run, hit the trails, ride mountain bikes all summer and access to backcountry skiing even there in the winter time. But then also I mean massage um, at the Wild Horse, you know, the hot tub coming back after a day and knowing that it's, it's small it's not going to be like a, a big crowded you know hotel. It enables a little bit more a different side of a vacation. It kind of feels like being at home, away from home. So that's created by Chris and John. It's created by just the ambiance of the place. What's nice about being able to bring your dog is that there are these wonderful cabins that, that Chris and John have, uh, especially for dog owners. And uh, we like to come up and go cross-country skiing in the winter, biking and hiking in the summer. Uh, and we can do all of that with our dog, which makes it extra special. I think people choose, brides choose this uh, inn to do a wedding because it's unique. It allows them to uh, really gather their friends and family for a weekend and um, it's a one-stop shop because we do all of the event planning and facilitation from here. We also uh, cater all of the events via Wild Horse Catering Company which we started specifically to service events at the end. The wedding was a very special time in my life, um, including my husband and my family. Um, we had a great time planning our wedding and we worked closely with our vendors, including the Wild Horse. And we just had so much fun. We were able to be creative on the palette that was the Wild Horse and um, express what we wanted to show to our family uh, for our wedding. I would highly recommend Wild Horse without reservation. I would recommend getting reservations <laughs> um, because, because you really can't lose.